Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel. My name is Kianti and I'm going to go ahead and bring us a reading. Um, depending on which channel that you're watching this on, you can see this or for, on the For the Love of Water Tarot channel or the Touch by Key Tarot channel. I just haven't decided where the videos are going to go yet. Um, but this reading is for the sign of Pisces, my baby shark, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as well as the Pisces cross watcher, okay? Guys, it is a general read, so everything I say won't resonate for every last single one of you. I'm a little gifted. I'm not all that gifted, okay? Some things I say will resonate for you. Others may not. So make sure that you use your intuition and your discernment. Pisces, keep what resonates for you and kindly release what does not, all right? I cannot stress that enough, okay? If I get it right for you, baby sharks, please take care of your girl with a like, comment, subscribe, share, send a little prayer, all right? And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email address is for the love of water tarot at gmail.com. That information is also provided in the description box right below the video, okay? And Pisces, because I talk so much, I decided to go ahead and lay our cards out before to kind of condense the time here and I have some very specific messages I'm going to try to take my time so I can get everything out because I feel like there's some important things that I need to say I'll show you the cards that I pulled eventually but we're going to get these messages out before they leave my brain Pisces this for some of you this is for the individual you I do have some other stuff going on but this is for some of you there's a message directly for you Pisces I am getting the message <clears throat> that it is okay for you to release some sort of guilt and suffering from things that you have been through in the past. Pisces, for some of you, you are still suffering from, from things that happened in the past, the past affecting the present, right? It, it's, it's a feeling of lack, feeling of betrayal, feeling like you were a victim of things, right? Some of you may have been having some problems letting those things go. I have release under there, which is the Eight of Cups. It is safe to release that, to surrender, to have the emotional release, to cleanse to walk away it is safe to do that and i feel like pisces because there's been things there there's energy where i feel like there was energy or longing you just wanted to be loved right you were aching and pining and just wanting to be loved and, and like wanting to feel love right for sure you were longing for, for for something here of a love from the past and pisces the the, the energy that it, that that we're talking about here this is the energy that had that kept your heart confused. This is the energy that kept you like you foggy. Mixed signals, blocked emotions, clutter, right? For sure. Pisces, I hate to say this, but for some of you, this was a karmic disguised as a soulmate, right? For some of you, you're going to have to be realizing that you were dealing with a karmic that was disguised as a soulmate, right? A karmic that wore a false mask. But I do have a message for you about that. Pisces, you have a friendly spirit that is helping you, and I don't know who the spirit is, but it where it goes. But Pisces, there is definitely a, a it's, it's a Casper, it's a ghost. It doesn't have to be a ghost, literally. But there's a friendly spirit here that is definitely helping you. That is that is um, because we are psychics, we are we do have strong intuition. There's something about a friendly spirit that is helping you. I feel like your intuition could be picking that up. It could also be communicating with your intuition. There's something about a, a friendly spirit that is helping you to kind of stay put because there's something that you've been desiring and wanting that's going to come to you. There's a friendly spirit that's pushing you to use your intuition to kind of stay put because something that you're desiring and wanting is going to come to you. There could also be a friendly spirit that is helping you kind of stay put and not, um, like I said, not continue to let something from the past uh, haunt you to like release something for sure, for sure. And I definitely feel like there's something about um, 3D money or material things that you've been wanting, that you've been desiring. Maybe it hasn't, maybe things weren't moving. You weren't getting any movement. There's a friendly spirit that is definitely helping you with that. Okay. I see that. Okay. And I also have another, uh, one more message for you in that regard, Pisces. You may be anxious. You may be anxious about something that you're getting ready to do. I feel like there's an energy where you could definitely be having a little anxiety because whatever it is that you're getting ready to do, you don't want to be embarrassed. You don't want to flop. You don't want to fail. But that's not going to happen. You're going to receive the unconditional love that you've been wishing for. And even if there's gossip talk or jealousy about you, you are protected. There's also going to be some sort of talk about 
I don't know. I don't know. Is, is, oh, is it your spirit guides talking? Some of you got spirit guides talking. Ain't there something about angels talking? Some of you, you may like literally, you may be talking to your spirit guides. I also feel like there could be talk going on about how your protection, how you have some sort of divine protection, you're preventing from harm, or something to that effect. Now, and Pisces, I, for real, I want to say that one more time, Pisces, I have a strong message. It is definitely safe for you to release some stuff from the past that was keeping you suffering, for sure. It's safe, right? I feel like there's an energy you've been aching and pining, like for maybe some clarity, like to clear your mind, because I do feel like there was something that you were dealing with in the past where you may have had, there was mixed signals dealing with someone, right? For sure. Or blocked emotions, or you just could not, it's like there was just so much going on, you couldn't see something clearly here. But you got you got a friendly spirit helping you for sure. Some of you, def, I know definitely all of you, whoever I'm talking to, there's a friendly spirit that is helping you. Period. And I see that. Okay. Now, for some of you, there could definitely be someone from the past who you completely release. Let's get into it. There could be someone from the past here, right? Past affecting the present. Lack, betrayal, victim. Uh, let the past go, right? I feel like there could be someone from the past who is suffering that you released. Yep. And look, lost Pisces. I'm telling you, you could let go of that. Look, belief system. Yes. Yes change. Pisces, you could definitely let go of some sort of feeling of loss, suffering, right? And it could definitely be having everything to do with some belief systems and value systems, right? Conditioning, the expectations, things that you conform conform to. A lot of you are evaluating your, your long-held beliefs and you're having some sort of awakening and you're getting ready to make some changes for sure. And you may be getting ready to walk right into your uh, person here with the soulmate and with the twin flame energy here for sure. Some of you, your twin flame changed you. Right, you didn't see some shit coming here. Right, but for others of you, this could be your twin flame. Just put it where it goes. Because like I said, there could be someone from the past that is completely feeling this, right? Completely. With 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 change with the with the change in current and twin flame, this person could definitely be coming to the realization that they're going to have to be courageous and make some sort of change. If this is someone feeling this way about you. I feel like this is someone that you completely released. I definitely feel like this person does feel the loss, right? Loss, wounded, rejection, not feeling enough, missing someone, five of pentacles, they're left out in the cold, and it has everything to do with their belief systems, right? With the facade, with the mask, right? The, the, the conditioning, their expectations, their conformity, right? Someone could, someone is definitely evaluating their long-held beliefs and their awakening. Now, this could be some sort of energy that's coming towards you, but it's going to take courage to change if they want to come towards you. I definitely see that. Again, this could be someone who is longing for you, aching, pining, right? Yeah, but the heart fall, it def I definitely feel like in this situation, I do feel like you let this person go because they sent you mixed signals and now they're in despair. Yes, yes. Pisces, some of you, like I said, some of you, you definitely were aching and pining for some some uh, energy with someone who definitely, like, they kept your heart foggy, like it was, something was never really clear about the entire situation, right? And I don't want to say they made you desperate, despair, but despair is here. This could have been someone who made you, like, I, I don't feel like desperate, but they, it was a feeling of despair, for sure. Because you definitely wanted something, you definitely wanted this with them, but with Shattered here, they could have, it could definitely been somebody who broke you. And, and, and for some of you, this is definitely somebody that it took some time. It's, it's, it's taking some time to get over, for sure. This could also be somebody that, that like they broke you so bad that it, it may have took a little time for you to even be intimate with somebody else, for sure. Put it where it goes, Pisces. But I also feel like this could definitely be someone who did this to you. And now they are feeling despair. They feel like things are falling apart. They're feeling like they're, sink, they're, they're sinking. They feel like it's hopeless. They feel shattered, damaged, brokenhearted, destroyed. They could definitely feel this way, like th whatever that they did, that it's like they finally did the big one. Because you did, you're the Eight of Cups. You definitely released them. Could be dealing with the Leo. But there's something about wait, times, and cycles. Is something about keeping you waiting. And now this person could definitely be like craving you. It says intimacy, closeness, sexuality, seclusion. I feel like this person could want to be infatuated. They're infatuated about having some sort of intimate moment with you if it's not sexual, right? Yeah, but resentment here, yep. Yep, this person feels, this person could know right, you know, at this point that if they say something to you, they're going to be met with resentment. Stinging words, bitterness, and anger, and heart song is here because now with inner knowing telepathy, intuition is like, now that you know the truth about them, right? Somebody could definitely know that you resent them now because we're inner knowing here, like like heart song. Like I feel like now it's clear to you as far as intuition, yep. 
it's very clear to you now how someone affected you, right? It's very clear how someone affected your emotions, right? How they, how they, how they could have made your emotions unstable. It's very clear how somebody could have affected you with some dramatic ish. You could also be dealing with a um Scorpio. But I definitely feel like, like I said, Pisces, you could definitely like, like I said, however this is going. You could definitely feel like if like now that you see something clearly with somebody, they could definitely know that you're gonna have some stinging words, some bitterness or anger for them, for sure, for what they did. But again, I did I, I told you that my cards are telling me clearly, right? I do feel like you definitely have an inner knowing now. Your intuition is definitely telling you things. Some of you are realizing that somebody was just unstable, right? Someone could definitely have been unstable. That's why they were so dramatic, right? Something, something about their emotions affected them. Hmm. Let me keep going. I tried to make this shorter. Oh, shit. I've been talking a while. Okay. Then we had karmic costume and pretending here, right? Dark entity, dark entity, dark entity in disguise, right? I see somebody could definitely be in a karmic situation where they're just, it's something about a karmic situation where everything is all for pretense, right? It's just all, yeah, yeah. This could be two people dressed up like a husband and wife and it's karmic, right? Like they're dressed in husband and wife clothes, but they're a karmic, they're, it's a karmic relationship, right? A pretense, a karmic situation that's, pre, that's, a, that's a pretense, right? It's just a costume, right? Some of you feel like this person was, was a, like I said, a karmic, in disguise of a soulmate. But Pisces, what I do know for sure is that there is a friendly spirit that is helping you. And I know it's you because here's Casper, the friendly spirit, and then the, the vision board, psychic terror reading, future prediction. This is definitely us. This could definitely be me telling you about this. But this there's an energy that's telling you to stay put because desire and wanting, because what you're desiring and what you're wanting is going to come to you. And this is in the form of 3D money and material wants. Now, Pisces, there could definitely be some, there could definitely be like, I feel like you do have a, a spirit helping you and tapping into your intuition. And again, this could be somebody now who wants to come around. Listen, there could be somebody who was like a dark entity in the past, right? They could have been a karmic, right? I feel like there was a karmic disguised as a soulmate, right? There could be an energy of now someone wanting to, Someone could definitely be coming to the realization that you were a friendly spirit. Someone could see you almost like an angel, but someone could, I don't want to say angel, but like a very divine being, being, right? Like whatever friendship and spirit you brought them, it was in the energy of helping because you're the high priestess. Someone could definitely feel like you were a, like you were a friendly spirit. You were helping, right? And somebody could have stayed in something, right? They could have stayed put and wouldn't make some sort of move because they were desiring and wanting something about money, 3D, about, yeah, somebody could have stayed in a situation and not, not accepted the friendly spirit helping and the psychic and the intuition, the intuitive energy you were giving them, the, the predictions you were giving them. Yes, like you could have gave somebody some really good advice, just trying to help, right? Pisces, I feel like you would have told somebody about a future situation just trying to help them. Instead, they stayed put and they did not move because they were desiring or wanting something about something in the 3D or money or material wants, for sure. And this could be somebody who is now suffering, right? It could definitely be, I definitely feel like it's somebody you released if they're aching and pining over you and shit. And this could definitely be somebody who is now having this anxiety and this scare, this, this fear and this panic because now they feel embarrassed. Yes, Pisces, someone could definitely feel embarrassed. Somebody could have definitely stayed in something about appearances, but I feel like there's an energy of anxiety about being embarrassed. I also feel like this person could also be embarrassed because they feel like the unconditional, well, unconditional love under there, you gave them unconditional love, right? Someone could definitely feel embarrassed about some things because they wish that they could get the unconditional love that they used to get for you. They could be hoping, wishing, yearning, and praying and there could definitely be someone that is having a conversation with someone about that. Someone could definitely be talking to someone like Pisces was so protective over me, right? Pisces definitely, Pisces prevented me from harm, right? Pisces told me some stuff a couple of times that 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 that, that stopped me from doing something. That that that, that um yeah, somebody is having that kind of conversation about you, Pisces. I I also feel like somebody could be talking about somebody saying like they just want they just uh. They just, they just kind of want to be protective of you. They don't mean you any harm, right? For sure. 
especially if this is someone who now feels threatened and embarrassed, right? They definitely, someone could definitely be feeling embarrassed about what they did. Let me get some terror on this for us, baby sharks, and I'm getting out of here. Make sure you take care of your girl with that like, comment, subscribe, share, email me if you're interested in booking, all right? All right, spirit. Let's talk about this release in the past. Pisces, I do got a strong message that it is okay for you to release, to purge, to surrender, have that emotional release, clear, and walk away from anything in the past that kept you suffering. Yes, any past suffering, Pisces, it's okay to walk away from this, right? Because it's saying the past could be affecting the present, right? This feeling of lack and betrayal, things that you were a victim of, right? People that made you a victim, let it go. It's safe to let it go. But there could also be someone from the past here that is suffering, but it is someone that you turned your back on. I feel like you surrendered. You gave up. You, you like and, and you did have an emotional release. You did. It was emotional, but you realized you had to let them go. Look, there you go. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's definitely someone in their feelings here. There they go. Pisces, this could be... Uh, you, you, you could be the King of Cups. I'm talking about the Nine of Cups. Pisces, there's something here... Two things I'm getting. I feel like this could definitely be you. And with the King of Cups, I'm hearing uh, big boys don't cry, but men do. It's almost like... Pisces, even if you are this King of Cups, it is okay. It is okay to like the, to like to have some sort of emotional release of the past, for sure. For sure. Because I feel like the nine of cups is that's that's like once you do this, the eight of cups it goes to the nine of cups. That's, you're gonna have, you, wish fulfillment. It's like releasing the past suffering so wish fulfillment can come in, right? Yes, you gotta release that so you can make room for the wish fulfillment. I do feel like it's coming. For also for some of you, this is somebody with the king of cups that you definitely you had to, you could have let go. And I feel like with the nine of cups, this person could have been very full of themselves, right? For sure. At one point, this person could have been very stubborn and full of themselves. Yep, strength. Yep. Their stubbornness, their willing, their unwillingness to change, right? Yep, and it's over the world. I'm telling you, you could be dealing with the Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Let's get some for this uh, clinging and heart fall. Pisces again. I do feel like if, if you've been on, um, I mean longing, if if you definitely if you've been like if your heart has been aching and you've been pining over lost love. Some of you, you have, and I feel like you just feel like with heart fog, you just, like your heart has been cluttered, like you just feel like you can't figure some stuff out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to release it. For sure. For some of you, you definitely, like like I said, you just, like you really wanted, so you really wanted something in the past to work. And it's okay. It really, it's okay. Some of you definitely see some things clearly about that situation, for sure. For others of you, there is someone here that is aching, pining over you. It's a past love, but this is someone who sent you mixed signals. I, yeah. And listen, I feel like this person may not... Something is going on with them, too, because, listen, they feel an energy of despair. They feel like they're, everything is falling apart, it's sinking, it's hope and hopeless. They feel like they shattered something with you, too. They're longing for something with you, but I feel like they're aware that they shattered it. Seven of Swords with some sneaky shit. There we go. And Pisces, I also feel like some of you, like I said, you you, you could have just been, like I said, you were longing for something. You really wanted something from the past. But the Seven of Swords is like somebody who, that's the hard fog energy. They sent you mixed signals. Nothing was ever clear. Look, the Five of Pentacles, you left them out in the cold. But there's also somebody who, who was in this energy, right? Listen, somebody could definitely be aching and pining for you, Pisces. And if there is another situation, that situation is sinking, it's falling apart, they feel hopeless. Someone could definitely be wanting with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, be wanting to like sneak out and plan an escape away from something, something else. Look, the moon, there's a lot of mystery behind this. And if it's not another situation going on here, there's definitely somebody who was sneaky here that you left out in the cold. You may not know with the Seven of Swords that they're aching, pining, and they're aching and, pi aching and pining and longing for you because the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles with the Moon tells me they're not expressing this death, but there's definitely something changing. Scorpio energy. Yeah, Pisces. Some, 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 listen, I just heard with Death and the Four of Cups, there's definitely, going, there's definitely some big transitions getting ready to happen behind you being over some stuff. Yep. Yes, there's some sort of big transition happening behind and you being over something. There could definitely be somebody else that is definitely ready to end something and be completely over it, too. Put it where it goes. Let's see what this um, costume and pretending and karmic energy is about here. 
Pisces, for some of you, there was a soulmate. Dress, uh, there was a, there was a karmic dressed up as a soulmate, right? But I do feel like you have help. That's there's help that's getting ready to help you get over this. There's there's a friendly spirit that wants you to stay put and let what you desire and want is going to come. Is it, what you desire and want is coming to you. There could also, sorry, there could also be um somebody here. I, like I said, there could be a karmic situation where some it's all pretenses. People are wearing false masks about a situation. Yes, there could be somebody here that that deals in a lot of karmic energy where there's a lot of false masks. Like I don't know, like I don't know. It could be the group of people that they kick it with, they family. I feel like somebody is around a lot of karmic energy where there's a lot of dressing up and pretense, and they could they could be realizing Pisces. That you were a friendly spirit that was trying to help. That you definitely used your intuition and you, you definitely predicted some things about the future. It's almost like I said, you were something that you were doing in a very friendly manner trying to help someone. And you predicted some things. And I feel like this person could have stayed put and didn't make so, some sort of move because they were desiring and wanted something 3D. Something very shallow. Something on the 3D. Could be money or material things. I also feel like a lot of you all, all, a lot of you have a friendly spirit that's getting ready to help you. And, and this friendly spirit is speaking to you intuitively. And that kind of, it's the kind of energy that's kind of telling you stay put, right? Stay put, stay the course, stay focused because what you're desiring and you're wanting is coming. The Ten of Wands, a heavy burden being dropped. Yep, the Ace of Pentacles. What I'll tell you, Pisces, I do feel like with the Ten of Wands, you, you could definitely, if, if you were carrying a heavy load, like I feel like for some of you, you felt like you were kept carrying a heavy load with the energy, I feel like you finally released that load. It's okay to let that shit go for sure. Because you got this Ace of Pentacles coming in. I told you what you're desiring and what you're wanting is coming in. For some of you, I definitely feel like this energy that definitely... How do I say this? That rent, like with the, with the costumes and the karmic, it's just like I don't know what this big... It feels like some big phony show. And with the ten of wands, this person could definitely have realized that they were care that like they, like the, the the load got too heavy or that type of shit. This could be somebody wanting to come in and try to offer you an ace of pentacles. Look, the devil, see? Capricorn energy, page of cups, yes. This could definitely be somebody who wants to apologize for some sort of toxic shit. There could be something here dealing with a toxic situation, dealing with children here. That could be definitely yeah, yeah, put it where it goes, put it where it goes. There could definitely be some sort of fake, fake situation where there's a pretense right that like we're some sort of divine union of counterparts and soulmate but in reality it's 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 toxic it could be something that's just like for children and pretenses see there is somebody look the page of cups the high priestess the high Rift, there you go that friendly spirit pisces i'm telling you okay let me get it on with you let me get it on with you pisces for a lot of you i feel like it's okay for you to let some sort of it's okay for you to let the burdens go of Soulmates that soulmates that the uh, karmics that were dressed up as soulmates, karmics in disguise, right? For sure, it's okay to let that go. Pisces, some of you, your um, your spirit guides could be a Taurus or a Capricorn or even a Sagittarius or a fixed sign because I have the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, for some of you, I'm telling you, this could be literally like your spirit guides, the hand of God, handing you something. And with the devil in the page of cups, it could almost be like an offering to try to like, it feels like emotionally heal this kind of energy that's been kicking your butt, right? The devil, right? That's that past that's causing you to still suffer, right? For sure. Pisces, for sure. And you, some of you, you're definitely, you have that spirit. You're like getting divine protection and shit like that, for sure. But for others of you, I do feel like. There's somebody here, that Ace of Pentacles with the devil in the Page of Cups. They want to offer you something. They may want to try to hand, like, hand you something or restart something. Because with the devil in the Page of Cups, I feel like this person knows. And the High Priestess and the Hierophant, you were friendly. You were trying to help. It's something about any advice you gave somebody, anything you predicted to this person. You did it out of love and you, and you, did it, and you didn't mean them no harm. You were just trying to help. 
somebody could definitely want to apologize and offer you something. There's definitely something changing here. Here you are, the hangman. Pisces, things are getting ready to change for you. The will of fortune. Yep. Pisces, hang in there. The will of fortune, the hangman, and the ace of swords. Pisces, just stay, just, just stay put. Stay the course because whatever it is that you want, it's going to come to you. I see it coming. What you're desiring, what you want is coming to you. Okay? Let's get one more clarification card and I got to get out of here. Let's go ahead and get some on this anxiety. Pisces, do not be afraid. Don't Pisces, don't have any anxiety or any any fear or any panic about, about how you're going to appear. Right? Don't, don't worry about how you'll appear. Don't worry about being embarrassed. Don't let anybody intimidate you or threaten you, Pisces, because I do feel like there's getting ready, there's something that's getting ready to change. The unconditional love you've been wishing for is coming. It is coming. Genuine and uncertain. The, the, un, the unconditional love that you've been praying and yearning for is coming, for sure. I also feel like there's someone who is also having a lot of anxiety. They're, they're beginning to panic because they could definitely feel threatened and very embarrassed by by the situation is I don't know if like if they if they're embarrassed because you were right or if they're just in some sort of clown ass situation with the costumes but they could definitely be embarrassed and I also feel like with unconditional love and wish there's an energy that's definitely wishing that they could have your unconditional love right now they're talking and somebody definitely knows that you didn't mean any harm that you were protective over them you only wanted the best what I tell you page of cups Pisces don't worry because I do feel like there's going there's going to be a page of cups energy coming to you very sweet very loving unconditional love that you've been hoping and wishing for something about some stuff since childhood too be something about a child or childhood some of you may be wishing for a child if you've been wishing for a child i'm hearing it like if you've been having anxiety and been wishing for a child that could definitely be one coming there could also be someone that wants to apologize like i said the six of swords yeah Pisces, you are getting ready to be able to move on. And with the two of pentacles and the sun, I see you having two solid uh, two solid decisions or choices to make. With the sun, it's going to make you very happy and bring in some abundance here. I also feel like there is someone else who may definitely want to come towards you. This person may, with the six of swords, they may be trying to move on from something too. If they do, they have a couple of decisions to make here. They're trying to weigh something out. You could be dealing with the Leo, but this is somebody very clear that they're unhappy about a situation. And here you are, the Queen of Cups and Temperance. They could definitely feel like someone wants. They could definitely feel, feel like someone wants to come towards you and heal and make up, make something right. And it could definitely be something about Sagittarius season going on here. Give me one more, and I'm getting out of here. That flipped right up in my hand. The Ace of Wands. Pisces, don't be scared. Don't panic. Don't worry about. Don't worry about what anybody thinks. Don't worry about being embarrassed. Don't don't care don't don't care about what other people want you to do about appearances because you are there's something really good. Page of cups. It, it feels like a a lot of sweet emotions and a new opportunity here for you with the ace of wands. But I also feel like there could there's somebody who wants to come towards you in that energy. They're panicking. It could be an apology or they just want to simply reach out. And, something about again you were friendly to them. You were helping. You were just trying to help. Strength. It could be a Leo. But there's definitely somebody up the world. There's somebody that's trying to remain strong since something ended between you and them. And they, they, they've been sitting back waiting. They do want to try to come and work on a connection with you and offer something. But I never tell you to take nobody that you don't want back. This is completely up to you. It'll be up to your judgment. But I also feel like this is for, uh, for you. Don't be afraid. Don't panic. Don't, don't worry about what no one else thinks. Be strong because the, you, you def, there's some cycles closing out for you. You definitely learned some lessons. And what I feel like while there's some huge cycles closing out for you and you've learned a lot of lessons, while you've learned some lessons, whatever lessons you've learned while some cycle is closing out, Pisces, you're getting ready to take those lessons and put them to work. And it's gonna bring it's gonna bring soulmate connections in, and it's gonna bring in connections of people who want to work with you, collab with you, and a lot of offerings, some balance and stability. Okay. I love you, baby sharks. I'm getting out of here. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're interested in booking me, please email me. I tried to keep it short, and I couldn't accomplish it. I'll try it again another time. I love y'all. Make sure y'all take care of y'all girl with the like on the way out. Bye, baby sharks.